I, I will start with the first murder. In this presidential race, what will make Azimio and Kenya Kwanzaa to win? Number one, it is not about Azimio and Kenya Kwanzaa. It is about Kenya Azimio la Umoja. It is Azimio la Umoja that will win the presidency. So forget about any other rumors and innuendos. <laughs> Number two, why is still Ruto in office? And Ruto is taking credit of good things and blaming the failures on Uru. Ruto is in office because he is protected by the Constitution. Article 32, subsection 3 of the Kenyan Constitution provides that the Deputy President is elected together with the President. So his mandate, as the, his mandate is protected. And Ruto blaming, and Ruto is a political warthog. <laughs> He's taking credit for the good things and blaming others on others. That is obnoxious, it is cantagorous, it is maligning, it is cajoling, it is hoodwinking, and it is bamboozling. <laughs> Point number three. Has the government delivered or failed? The government of Kenya led by President Uhuru Kenyatta after the handshake has delivered. It is through the stewardship of Honorable Raila Molo Odinga that the, that, 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 that the government has been able to deliver what it has ever been able to deliver. We have the free super, it is called the free? The expressway. That one is, an, is a brainchild of Uhuru Kenyatta. You cannot blame Uru Kenyatta for other failures. The country is, is, is a developing country and it cannot take all things thoroughly. Is that okay? Point number four. Parliament summoning CS for finance for government failures in management of Big Four agenda. It is not the government that is failing. As we know, the country is broke. Kenya, as it, it is as it, as it's constituted today, it's very broke. And when a country is broke, it will be unable to deliver on every aspect. But Uru Kenyatta has delivered in universal health care, education, infrastructure, among other things. <laughs> Lastly, Nairobi governorship. Who is the best candidate for governor of Nairobi? <laughs> very simple question. It is Honorable Tim Wanyonyi. Honorable Tim Wanyonyi is the best candidate for governorship. Why am I saying so? When he was the member of parliament for Westlands, he was ranked among the top 10 candidates for best delivering candidates in, in parliament. So we can put, I can say, lastly, I will finish by quoting three individuals. Number one, Chinu Achebe, Malcolm X, and Karl Marx. I'll start by Malcolm X. Malcolm X says that the greatest evil is failing to try. Raila Molo Odinga has tried four times. It will be the fifth time lucky for Raila Molo Odinga in winning the presidency. Chinu Achebe, in his book, A Man of the People, page 67, paragraph 4, line 3, says... That unless a penis dies when he's still young, <laughs> unless a penis dies when he's still young, it must one day eat a bearded meat. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> 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 Kwa hivyo nitakata tu sio. Ndio at least ni chukua chukua ya watu wengi kabla masai jaisha sio? Yes. So wacha nianze na Kim. Alafu wacha nipeana namba sio? Yes. Ehe. Then ndio atakuwa wa pili. Ikolomani watatu. Huko hakuna mtu sio? Eh? Aya. Eh, mama ni watatu eh? Yeah. 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 Ah, ule jamaa watano 
sita. Wa sita. Sawa, waje tuende na hiyo sita kwanza. Mama. Utakuja tusaidiane. Bwana speaker. Mimi kwanza kuhusu mambo ya governor. Waja nizungumze kwanza mambo ya governor kulingana na masaya venye inaenda. Governor mimi kwanza pendekezo langu. Ndasema pendekezo langu lakini kwanza kwa chama ya UDA wako na pendekezo sana wanataka kukuwa na governor Mluya. Governor mwenye ana, 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 wanapendekeza awe ni Zakaja. Na Zakaja na Zakaja ni nini baba? Bwana speaker. Na Zakaja pendekezo ya Zakaja kwa UDA wanataka walete Ranimed Mkikuyu. Na probability Ranimed Mkikuyu mwenye analetwa huenda akawa ni Murethi Francis Wambogo sababu ya UDA kuleta hivi huenda wanataka kuleta serikali ya vijana lakini mimi ni kiulizo pangu mimi ni kiulizo pangu naweza pendekeza timu wa nyonyi akiwa governor wa Nairobi mimi kwa leo leo kwa leo Huyo ndio ule governor. Bwana speaker, huyo ndio ule governor anaweza unganisha jamii zote zenye ziko Nairobi na ziongee kwa jambo moja. Huyo ndio ule governor, uongozi wake umeonekana akiwa governor anaweza unganisha maskini na tajiri kwa debe moja. Huyo ndio yule governor mwenye ako na unyenyekevu, mwenye anaweza fanya mtu wa chini amsikize kwa sikio lake na mtu wa juu amsikize kwa sikio lake. Huyo ndio ule governor mwenye amekuwa kwa, amefanya eneo bunge yenye iko na matajiri wale wangazi ya juu na maskini wangazi ya chini na wote wako pamoja. Huyo ndio ule mtu mimi naweza sema anaweza sikia sauti ya mchuuzi na sikia sauti ya mwekezaji kwa wakati mmoja. Kwa hivyo nikisema timu wa nyonyi Sijakaa na e, lakini ninaona sera zake zinaambatana sawa. Kwa leo Kwa leo Kwa leo naweza kosa kupigana na siasa. Kuna wakati inafika unaondoa siasa ya ukabila. Unaondoa siasa ya ubinafsi. Unaweka siasa unaondoa siasa ya chama. Unaweka siasa ya sera. Na unaangalia huyo mtu kama yeye. Mimi leo kwa governor kama ninaweza patana na leo ni uchaguzi nafanya tiketi yangu na kura yangu ni ya timu wa nyonyi. Bila kuangalia kabila lake, bila kuangalia chama yake na bila kuangalia mambo yake mingi. Hata dini huenda tuendi tushiriki dini moja na yeye. Lakini leo mimi ninasema kama kuna mtu wa kwanza mwenye ako na uwazi kwa utendakazi wake ni huyo timu wa nyonyi. Mimi simpiga kura wa Westland lakini nimekaribiana na watu kadhaa wa Westland. Huko 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 Kangemi kuna mahali panaitwa Kibagari. Hao watu wa Kibagari mimi nawapeaga hadithi yao. Hao watu wa Kibagari wamekuja tukakuwa majirani hapa. Kwa hivyo familia zao zimetoka hapa zingine ziko huko. Wakati marafiki zangu tukitoka na wao hapa tukienda Kibagare naendaga kwa sababu mimi ni mwanasiasa naendaga nikiulizia siasa. Nataka kuju Nataka kujua. Nikimalizia tu. Nikimalizia tu. Nikimalizia tu. Ya yeah, the next time as a donate yake. Ama deno mpatie. Unaweza mpatie yako tatu? Mimi ndo nitaamua. Haya kama unaona ana make phone. Haya wacha nitumie yangu tatu. Haya sawa hii yangu tatu siongelee ndani wacha niongelee yangu tatu. Hii yangu tatu kwanza na nashukuru Kim. Leo Kim ameongea kitu mzuri sana. Leo tuko tu nyuma timu anyonyi. Na hiyo sera timu anyonyi iko sawa unless wewe utakuja hapa na propaganda ya chama. Na utakuja hapa na ubinafsi na sera yako ya kuchukia chama. 
Kuna jua watu wengine waka hapa wanasema Nitapigia sakaja kwa sababu mechukia ODM Si kwa sababu unataka nini? Unataka, unataka, masera inauzwa So, mimi yoni memalizana na nikono na kitu moja nataka kusoma na nimalize Mimi leo naomba serikali ongeze bei ya kila kitu yendele ikuwe juu Juu zaidi Food price iko sawa Let's hustle la eat their wheelbarrows Until they know how to vote wisely Wacha, yendo juu, I congratulate the government to let it know that they should vote issues, not tribes. To pig a kura kwa sababu ya issues zenye tunataka kwa meza. Lakini si kwa sababu ya nini? Ya tribe. Hawa the same same wezi wenye wame tuibia. Na wame kula pesa yetu. Wame tena wame gawanyika kwa merengo mbili. Moja imenda na azimio, ingine imenda na Kenya kwanza. Lakini in really sense tume forget. Tume forget kwamba kuna mtu moja. Mwenye alisimama na Kenya tukasema kwamba Kenya tunapunguza mzigo. Na naituwe Kuro Kod. Third part alliance. Na huyo ndo kandidetu wangu. Na nimemaliza speaker. Santi sana. Kuro Kod. Mimi ni meuna. Eh, hiyo ni ni kwa habi? Kwa pia ni nauza mtu wako. Sio hii. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and all the backbenchers. First, Mimi Nata Kongelea, Mambo, Governor of Nairobi. Now, before to Ongelea, Mambo, let's say Mumeanza Kusema Timu Anyun. First thing, Mujue MOU. Ya jubili na ODM zimesikizana na muna gani? Juu ya nini? Najua! Mi najua! Najua kitu naongelea! Najua kwa nini nasema hivo? Wengo ja! Munajua nini? Sizi! Sizi maoni yangu, wewe kwa huna leta kelele! Eh? Uyo ni maoni yangu? Mimi, mimi ni mesikia. Unajua wa unaleta kelele, ujesikia nini nasema? Eh? Ujesikia nini nataa kusema? Eh? Mimi, ile kitu naambia, hata mimi my favorite candidate, is Timu Anyonyi. But ile kitu nataa kuuliza, if MOU ambaya jubili wa meo, jumimi venyamini mesikia, wanasema jubili ilisema kama ODM itoe candidate ambaya ni president. But ukikuja kwa governorship, wawo wanataka wape, wapewe. And that's what maali mimi nikona wasuasi. Wewe ujui mambo venye naendelea. Wewe unapiga siyasipa, situ naangalia mbele. So, iyo ndio mimi kitu nikonayo. Kitu ingine... Timu anyonyi tukiangalia kazi yake Timu amefanya kazi ambaye hata kila mutu Amerithika ambapo maali alikuwa nasimama kwa MP ya Westland Na timu anyonyi si mutu wa ukabila Timu anyonyi ni mutu ambaye hata tufanyia kazi Kila mutu hata feel ako nyumbani Na mimi nataka kuomba ndugu zangu hale tuko hapa Tusipigie mutu juu Mutu wa memuleta, anataka tumpigie. Tupigie mutu kwa sababu, huyo mutu atasaidia mimi na atasaidia mtoto yako. Na hivyo tutawakua tunaangalia mbele. Tusipigie mutu juu wa meletu na chama fulani. Hiyo ndiyo kitu ya mwisho. Haya, nikiongelea. <laughs> Waje niongelea ni uh, presidential candidate. Vile inaweza enda. Mimi nataka kuambia, the way ni mesikia, Mumesema kalonza mekuja the other side. But, mimi nataka kuambia tukona difficulties mahali. Awa magava na ambao wanatoka ukambani, wanaanza kuresist. Na that's why, munaona kalonza jaingia raka kwa azimio. That's why, lazima awa watu wa gava na watatu, warudi chini kwanza. Wasiongele kifuwa ya juu. That's why, atazimio, ujamaki ingia yulbi. 
atakuwa haraka but the way yao wanaongea wanaona kama wao intakano wape first priority kwa azimio na Kalonzo ndiye amebeba kikapu ya ya watu wa ukambani and that's why mnaona Kalonzo ame kuingia imekuwa ngumu kido, kidogo because ukiangalia azimio wenyewe wameshachukua ngilu as the ndio ameingia wa kwanza first come first serve first serve hiyo kitu ndio nitakana watu waangalie wale wa kwazimio sisi kama one Kenya Alliance uh, Kenya kwanza <laughs> sisi <laughs> kwanza si tumejipanga na sisi kama Kenya kwanza tuko ready tumeambia wale watu tunapingana na ambao ni azimio watafute kura zao wakuje si tumejipanga already kitu ya kwanza nimewaambia kama Kenya kwanza tuko na kura ya Central tumeweka kwa mkebe kura ya Western tumeweka kwa mkebe Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to stand before you. The first huh? <laughs> My first uh, favorite governor in Wanyonyi, Tim Wanyonyi. Tim Wanyonyi is a governor I, I, it's my choice because Tim Wanyonyi stood firm to fight poverty in Westlands and we have seen his hand. Secondly, Tim Wanyonyi is a ma is the real deal for this Nairobi county. The reason why I say this because he has done a lot in West Westlands. That's why he is my choice. I will say, and I can say, and I have said, Tiwanyonyi is the coming governor of Nairobi uh, city. Upper. If you say no, I will, I will bring Bunduki up. I will tell you, just do it. Hey. Because he's, my, he's a, a man of good vision. He has good ideas. He can make he will uplift this our county up. Uplift the county yet. Papa T, he knows how to fight for it. Hey. Secondly, thirdly, I heard we are saying we are talking about Raila, Yasimio, the presidential race. Wacha nokuambie, wacha kustua Raila because he knows how to search to look for his votes. Si mpaka Kalonza aingie ndio apite. Raila knows how to fight for his votes. Tafadhali I beg you, leave Raila alone. Na hata mimi nitasaidia yeye kutafuta hiyo kura yake. I have my business. I'm here because of Raila. Raila is my business. Asimio is my business. Kuna question nyingine ya question nyingine ya jana sijaanza nyinyi. Jana ulilisa kwa nini Ruto anataka kuwa uh, kwa nini Ruto anataka kuoa nani Ru, kwa nini maneno ya Ruto na Ouru hiyo ni ajana na uh, ni ajana nayo tu okay i'm very uh, kama umeona ni si utaki eh sawa asante sana wanyonyi mimi iko ndani 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 thank you very much my people eh haya wewe ulikuwa uko na mangapi wewe Asante sana bwana Kinara na wote waliomo. Mimi nikisimama hapa kama mpingamizi ambaye anajulikana sana, ningependa kuambia ndugu zanguni Jambo la kwanza unafau angalie mahali Kenya ilianzia na mahali Kenya imefikia. Wakati ulikuwa na governor hapa Nairobi, mahali Kenya inaanza 
fikiria kuanzia hapo na ufikirie mpaka saa hii mahali huyo governor amekufikisha hapa Nairo sasa kama saa hii unalia unataka governor fulani na ujui mwanzo mwanzo wa Kenya kupata governor Nairobi ujui kulikuwa aje ama ni nani alima, alikuwa na ni nani anamalizia think twice hapo <laughs> sasa nataka nikwambie jambo moja kama we mkenya mwenzangu saa hizi tunatafuta kitu ambaye inaitwa kiongozi wa Kenya ambaye atainua Kenya na amesimama anaitwa taifa la umo Taifa la umoja mumekataa ati sio taifa la umoja. Sasa mnaona ni UDA. Hata UDA yeye pia ako na yo sana 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 sana. Sawa sana, nashukuru sana. Nataka kuambia kitu moja nikisema hivi. UDA na taifa la umoja hapo tumekanganywa kidogo ana Kenya tukakosa kuwa na mwelekeo. Jua nini? Mtu anakuja kwaka anakuambia Sikia! Mtu anakuja kwako anakuambia mimi we kwa msikilifu kidogo mimi ni taifa la umoja mwingine anakuja anataka yeye ni bottom up wewe kwa boma yako kwa hao watu wawili utachagua mgani bottom up anarusha mahindi haya taifa la umoja arushi mahindi eh hey, anarusha 6000 but you will wait You will wait. Take notes. Yes. That is agreement. Not now. That's why tunampata Mdavadi ameshaarushiwa mahindi yako wapi? Hapa. Sasa unamkuta Kalonzo anafikiria twice. Kalonzo ni think twice. Ajaamua what is going on now. Sasa nyinyi hapa mmelala. Mmengoja Kalonzo amue muanze furugo. Mbona Kalonzo ameamua hivi? Venye Mudavadi aliamua mkaanza furugo. Mbona Mudavadi ameamua hivi? Kalonzo ataamua kivi yake, Mudavadi ataamua kivi yake. Kalonzo ni mulu, Mudavadi, Kalonzo ni mkamba, Mudavadi ni muluya. Sasa wacha nikuambie, watu wawili hawezi wakafikiria kitu mo Tuko na Raila, tuko na Ruto. Ruto anatafuta Raila anatafuta. Wacha nikuambie. Raila ako na nguvu mingi sana kuliko Ruto hapa Kenya. Kama haujui na kama unajua, kaa ukijua usilete furugo. Wewe enda kazi yenu unafanyanga kila siku. Ukishafaliza kazi yako, lala ukijua utaenda kupea kura ba kama sio baba kuja upige siasa ulete furugo uwa haujakuwa <laughs> na mweleke mali unatafutanga unga hata kama ni unga kidogo amuka kila siku wende utafuta hapo unga kila siku hiyo ni siria kura yako ni siria usitafute furugo hata unakuja hapa kungangana mtu amesema ruto ruto hata mimi nikisema ruto ruto hiyo ni lesha time yangu after my waka. Sawa? Usikasirike tu na niwinda hiyo ni bure tu. Mali unatafutanga unga enda utafuta hapo unga ukingoja mwenye ata utampea kura akuja kutoa kwa hiyo shida yenu uko na. Wewe ukileta furugo na badu ujaenda kuunda mahali unaendanga. Utakuwa na mwelekeo kweli? Ni nini mmekosa fahamu? Raila ametafuta hii kitu kwa miaka mingapi? Tuko na Museveni Uganda, bado anataka hii kitu. Museveni na Uganda na Raila nani mkubwa? Msitujelewesha hapa. <laughs> Sasa asante sana bwana speaker. <laughs> asante sana bwana speaker. Nadhani kwa leo tunaongelea jambo la maana sana. Kwa sababu vile tuko na azimio la umoja, leo tunaweza sema pia Nairobi tuko na azimio la Nairobi. Ya yule ambaye atakuwa governor na sisi wote tunaungana tukisema ni team wa nyonyi. Tunasema ni team wa nyonyi because of his character. Because of his track record and because of his qualities team wa nyonyi ame deliver westlands so we believe he'll the same way he has delivered in westlands at a deliver hapa nairobi
as the governor. Na ningependa pia kumjulisha political analyst. Nilisikia akisema ataenda aongee na babu. Ndiye akuja asimame because that is best candidate. Namwambia ati Mwanyonyi atamnyorosha babu vile alimnyorosha 2013 Westlands. Nasikia vizuri. I'm not talking to you my friend. Ya pili. So So governor ni team wanyonyi. Ya pili. Why Azimio will win? Why Azimio la umoja will win the presidency? In 2022 on August. Azimio la umoja Azimio la umoja will win first of all because they have numbers. Number two, they'll win because it is a coalition of the strong parties. Number three, it will win because of Raila Molodinga's factor. Raila Molodinga is an institution. And lastly, it will win because it has accepted all Kenyans and all political parties from all walks of life in this country. It will win because of those parties. It is a conglomeration of Kenyans, patriotic Kenyans, wale ambao wanataka kuomboa Kenya. So I believe Azimio will win Asubui na Mapema on the 9th of August. Damwisho, why is Ruto still in office? Ruto bada wa kwa ofisi kwa zawabu ya ulafi, ubinafsi, na kujipendekeza ye mwenyewe. Ame kuamilia pale, akidani ya tapea manafasi tena endele kuiba. Apana. Asante za la speaker. Aya. Skiza. Hapa uwa tunafanya na masa. Sawa. Ok, weka mkono chini. Kuna tangazo. Obero. Nimeambiwa ya kuamba Nimeambiwa ya kuamba Ile speaker yetu ya pale Kuna 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 kitu ya iliaribika Na weo ndi unajua weo na vini Kwa hivyo bunga iliamua Mutengeneze yo kitu Tunaitaji speaker kuanzia kesho Nafikiri yo imeeleweka hivyo kwa hivyo wewe mwenye mtaongea kando mtaona Sawa ya pili Kulingana na kolomi talangu naona masazi meyoyoma Labda nchukue mtu moja tu Alafu wa mwisho Wawili Aya sawa Nipatia mada, nipe mada Thank you Thank you Aya tutulie Now, the first question Tunamaze basi Swe la kwa na ulizwa Ngoja Now Swe la kwa na ulizwa In this presidential race What will make Azimio and Kenya Kwanza to win What will make Kenya Kwanza or Azimio to win Now Either way can win election Either way can win election There's a number of factors They will be looking at And that's exactly what the, the key leaders are working on Are working on it When you see the Miungano being made These Miungano which are being made Are the one, are the key factors Who are going to be considered In the making of the next government And a government is made by various factors Which are put into consideration We don't make a government By looking at individuals, we don't just look at individuals. All the committees in Kenya, they have interest in the next government. As Kikuyu and President Uhuru Kenyatta, they have interest in the next government. All the people who are the key leaders in this country, they have interest in the, in the next government. So those are the key factors that we look considering for the next formation of the next government. So either way, 
Either way kulingana vile mtu atapanga kati yake vizuri atawinga. <laughs> Nataka kuzungumzia story ya Nairobi governor. Wanyonyi amejitokeza huko uwanja atafuta uongozi wa Nairobi county kwa tiketi ya ODM. Sio azimio. Na kulingana sheria ambayo tunajua ambayo imepitishwa katika bunge. Tumeelezewa kwamba azimio itakuwa ita ita chama. Chama ambacho kitakuwa kimeidhinishwa, kimeandikishwa kama chama. Now, tukiwa muna mtu wakati huu hatujapata hatujafanya nomi, nomination. Watu wataidhinishwa na vyama vyao kusimama katika vyama mbalimbali. Wakati huu wanasiasa wanajipanga katika vyama tofauti tofauti kumenyana na wanasiasa wengine katika vyama hivyo. Mfano, kama timu wa nyonyi atamenyana na mwanasiasa mwingine katika chama cha ODM na kama chama cha ODM kitakuwa ndani ya azimio na azimio viko vya matofauti kama hawatakubaliana kwamba si timu wa nyonyi mfano kama chama waipa ingie ndani na kikona mwanachama wao ambao anataka asimame kama governor wa Nairobi wakati huo kama atakuwa ameidhinishwa kupeberusha chama kama kamgombea ugavana kwa tiketi ya chama cha azimio na ule mwingine mtakuwa katika Kenya kwanza hapo tutaanza kuzungumza tujue kwamba tuko na Kenya kwanza ambaye ni so and so na kunya na azimio la umoja kuna so and so then from there we can make decision tunapigia nani kura lakini wakati huu bado watu watapatiwa certificate ya kusimamia vyama vyao hao kanai kama ni support kwamba timu wa nyonyi anasimama and yet hajapatiwa cha hajapatiwa certificate ya kusimamia kwa chama it's still yet yeah, it's still early wakati wa mlesha itaisha mwezi wa tatu mwezi wa ine kuanzia hapo kwenda mbele watu 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 wamesha chaguliwa katika vyama vyao ndio tutajua ni nani lakini wakati huu bado kwa hivyo mimi nasema hivi as much as we love timu wa nyonyi ndio tunaweza kuona mpela waacha tupatiwe certificate katika azimio kwanza tujua amezaidinishwa then from there we shall fight with the other person who atakuwa kando upande mwingine wanyonyi poa wanyonyi poa sisi kama watu wa ODM na azimio tumeamua ni wanyonyi kwa sababu ya utendakazi wake watu wa Kenya kwanza hawatakuja kutupanga huku eti oh, mambo bado mambo bado wapi mambo imeisha wanyonyi wamechaguliwa kwa sababu ya kutenda kazi wa Sakaji ametenda kazi gani? Hakuna. Sisi tuko na wanyonyi kwa sababu ametenda kazi. Kitu ya kwanza ndugu zangu Wana, watu wa, wa watu wa Kenya kwanza wanatuambia shenyu ni shenyu. Yaani sakaja ni shenyu. Sa, ule si shenyu. She, kama ni shenyu ni shenyu ni nani? Ni wanyonyi. Na hapa ni wanyonyi pa? Tunataka watu wa kutenda kazi. Si watu wa kukaa kungojea kufanyiwa kazi. Watu kama sakaja ni watu wa kungojea kufanyiwa ka? kazi. Mtu kama wanyonyi ni mtu wa kutenda ka? kazi. Sasa e, na wanyonyi kwa ground. Wanaenje washaamua ni wanyonyi. Wao unakuja kutuambia eti azimio ijamua. Kama wanyonyi ametenda kazi. Ah watu watotoka jubili, watotoka na, ne, watotoka waipa, watoke wapi? Wakifika kwa wanyonyi kuna mtu atashinda wanyonyi kweli? Hakuna. Wanyonyi pa! Wanyonyi pa! Asimio hiyo. Mimi kama asimio, mimi namwombea gavana wangu, wanyonyi ashinde na kura mingi Nairobi na ashinde na hawa au machokora wote wako hii Nairobi. Wanyonyi pa! Baba pa! Sisi kama watu asimio saa hii tumepatiwa kitu inaitwa penalt. Tunafunga penalt. Sasa hii tumepewa penalt. Lazima tufunge na kura mingi zaidi na baba lazima zinde na kura mingi zaidi. Akiwa na gava na wanyonyi Nairobi, atutaki masaitani wanakuja hapa Nairobi kututanganya. Wanyonyi tumeona kazi yake Westlands, baba tumeona kazi yake hii Kenya. Kwa hivyo hakuna wakora wanakuja, hakuna wauni wanakuja kutusumbua hii Nairobi. Kwa hivyo wadu wa UDA ni wakora watubu, wakai kando, tupange Nairobi na Kenya mzima. Asanteni sana. Sawa sawa sawa. Wanyonyi pa! Wanyonyi pa! Wewe ni governor wetu. Sawa sawa sawa. Watu wanaamua wanasema timu wanyonyi. Lakini mimi nasema hivi. Hatuwezi sema hatuwezi aribia Sakaja jina kwamba Sakaja hajafanya kazi Nairobi. Hakuna hakuna pesa ya maendeleo. Ya, no tulia, tulia. Hakuna pesa ya maendeleo. Senator anapewa lakini mbunge anapewa pesa ya maendeleo. 
Kazi ya senator ni kwenda bungeni kutetea pesa ziende kwa counties. Na tumeona wakati Sakaja amekuwa akitetea mambo ya devolution kwa parliament inaonyesha akipewa nafasi ya kulinda kwa sababu anajua how much is needed to develop Nairobi. Yeti mwenye anafanya kazi kwa pesa nya anapewa. Lakini Sakaja anajua ni pesa ngapi. Kwa hivyo et, ukiweka hapa timu anyonyi na Sakaja Ninaona watu wengi sana wanasema timu ni wenye hujaona Sakaja vizuri. Sakaja anaenda kutenda kazi. Na kazi yenye Sakaja anaweza fanyia Nairobi hii ni kazi yenye timu yenye anaweza pita. Alafu namba 2. Timu yenye asimami, mimi nawaambia ukweli. Kwa sababu asimio la umoja. Ah, kuna. Ah, hiyo. Wacha. wakati azimio inaenda kusimamisha president kutoka ODM and then governor Nairobi anatoka pande ya jubilee kwa hivyo timu wanyonyi ni mzuri kwenye mwezi wa lakini for your information haendi kusimama tutapiga tu siasa lakini at the end of the day timu wanyonyi atakuwa deputy governor wa Nairobi lakini sio governor tupende tusipende haya tulieni na mimi nawaomba wenye naishi kuwaomba wakati tunafanya siasa tufanye siasa tukiwa soba tufanye siasa za kujiuza na tuache kelele unajua hii kelele hata uwezi kuuza mtu wako juu unapiga kelele mimi kitu moja ningewaambia sikizeni na siasa ni azimio mimi kuna kitu moja nawaambia sikizeni sikizeni relax munisikize na mimi naomba munisikize hapa kwa kwa Nairobi farasi ni wawili na farasi ni sakaja na timu wanyonyi tunasikizana sikizeni vijana haya sikizeni maneno tumesema farasi ni wawili farasi ni wawili nao farasi wawili ni sakaja ni sakaja na na wanyonyi kwa nini we Bona niambia ngati ngati amefanyia nini na Robi? Ngati ni nani? Ngati ni nani? So, mimi nawaambia, sikizeni, mimi nawaambia. Nataka tukitoka hapa na wacha na swali moja. Nataka tutoke hapa na swali moja nataka kumaliza. What? Sikizeni. What will happen? Wewe, sikizeni. Sikizeni, nawauliza. What will happen? kama wanyonyi atafika kwa debe tafakari hayo vijana power vijana dini nairobi ria wacha niwaambie ukweli nairobi hii governorship ni wawili ngatia na wanyonyi get me right Get me right. Get me right. Hii mambo ya Kenya kuisha. Hii mambo ya Kenya kuisha. Hatutaki watu wa kumaliza Kenya. Tunataka vijana wenye wako na mwelekeo. Juzi tuliona, juzi, juzi tuliona Sakaja akivunja sheria. Sasa kama Sakaja ndiye anaweza kuwa kwa ba, kwa basa saba Anaitwa kula kwanza. Na serikali wamekataa sasa kijana atafanya nini? Atakuja ku direct nani? Wacha ni kuambie. Tunaenda kutumia kitu inaitwa popularity. We are not going to give you any chance. Hawana mbunge Nairobi hawaendi kupata MCA tutawaachia kidogo. Governor wacha kuongea.
Tukiangalia popularity kubali ukatae Team wanyonyi yako kwa ground Team wanyonyi ndi yako kwa ground Yule kijana na hitu wangati ya tutaweka nyuma yake alafu ikitu tunachukua subuhi Wanyonyi yako mbele Na Nairobi ni azimio Msirangayo na mtuma Why is why is uh, Ruto in office? Why is still Ruto in office? Ruto is taken a credit of good things. Now, someone said here, Ruto is still in office because Ruto is being guarded by the Constitution of Kenya, 2010 promulgated. Now, William Samuel Ruto was elected together with the Uhuru Migai Kenyatta, so he is still in government. Now, how Ruto anatumia kiwango gani kusema credit in the uh, uh, gained in the Jubilee government? And the failures of the government and akuja kusema kwamba ni ya wao. Now, Ruto being a, Ruto being a politician, anatafuta kile kitu mzuri ambao lazima natumia kujiuza kisiasa for his beneficial. Siyo anakisema hivo, anajua kwamba ati anandalimu kudunumisha the president. What he's doing as a, as a, as a, as a politician, anajimarket ye mwenyewe. Is you see, the other failures anakuja kuambia wanainji kwamba, you see these failures is because of the, the person who ended the government. Anatumia yo kisiasa, so there's no problem with that one. Any person will use that one. Yo is kuwe problem kwetu. Now, Uliza, how is the government uh, delivered? Fade. I don't know what's... I, I don't know. Parliament, somebody says for finance, I don't know. That one, I... Yo ni snomo, yo ni mambo yao ya kini wacha waendele na yo. Now, the story of the governor of Nairobi. Now, the governor of Nairobi... <laughs> Aya Aya skiza Aya skiza tangazo lengine la pili Wewe suskize bana Tangazo la pili Ivi tulazima tutengeneze So kuanzia kesho tembe na hela bana Tunaitaji mchanga hapa tunaitaji magunia Lazima tupanue hii bunge Sawa So naomba tu Kwanzia kesho ntaanza mchango. Lazima tuwe na viti hapa. Maana zime kuachache sana, zengine zime raruka. Na memba sawesi mama hivi the whole day. Lazima watu wapate mali pa kukaa. So kwanzia kesho hiyo mpango la lazima tuianze kwa haraka sana. Chambo la pili. Uh, yeah? An announcement. Anjo. <coughs> Ahi Simba ya, ya kulala ndio mba ya Abaru Zenu Madabo Pam Yomera Sunyamaze kwanza Ok, niko na announcement kidogo Nimesimama hapa kwa mambo ya security Shuali nilikuwa na ombi Kidogo. So surely home, home. Okay, I have the request that uh, as a security team, we had agreed that uh, we want to make uh, a tag uh, of which by on Sunday, tunataka kukua kila muta kue na tag. For real, so mwanabunge vile mulitichagua hapa kama wa security, tulukua tunawamba utusaidie to. Kenya utapata na ayo tuko na rambe on Thursday So that we make hata kama kuna 10 bob, 20 bob Tutuangeza na zenye tumechanga Alafu 20 tuangeneza zizo ma tags Otherwise thank you Mr. Speaker sir I have no me Ok, ok, ya tag Tulikuwa tuwa prefer that Kama mwenye, mwenye kwa hapa Anaweza kutengeneza hizo tag So atuambia ati takana pesa ngapi Because we have the 20 security team So hizo 20 Utuambia unataka pesa ngapi Alafu tutakupatia yenye Tutaide na tutakupatia weni utatengeneza mwenye Kujua mejua kutengeneza karikati Tag Thank you Angina pami mother Thank you Welcome kona chini Aya sawa sikia Aya sikia Sizani hiyo ni ombi langu mtaniambia kama ni mbaya manzuri Mimi ningefikiria wangaongezwa katishat 
Reflector. Haya tutaongea kesho. Haya wa mwisho kuja. Wewe ndio wa mwisho kuja uchangie. Eh? Wewe wacha ukabila wewe. Wewe. Wacha ufakuzi wewe. Wacha ufakuzi. Mr. Speaker. Mimi nilikuwa nataka kuongelea. Cha kwanza Mr. Speaker mimi nitaongelea mambo ya governor Nairobi County. Hapa Nairobi County Mr. Speaker tuko na watu ambao wamesimama na ni tisho kabisa ambapo najua ni watu wawili. Ni Super Governor Sakaja na timu wanyonyi. Ambapo tukitoa tu ukabila tutoe na vyama Mr. Speaker mi naona kwamba Sakaja ni mtu mzuri ambaye anaweza tetea hii kaunti. Ni kwa sababu gani Mr. Speaker niseme hivyo? Kenya kinafanya niseme hivyo Mr. Speaker. Wanyonyi ni kwamba Sakaja amelinda na ametoa mali ya Nairobi ambapo Nairobi the city of the Kenya. Wanyonyi Wanyonyi Sasa Mr. Speaker Ukiona wanapiga kelele hivyo ni sababu ya chama. Sie tu wanapenda timu wanyonyi wanapenda sababu timu wanyonyi ako kwa chama cha asimio. Sisi tunapenda maendeleo na venye mtu anafanya. Hatujawahi ona asakaja na scandals yeyote katika masenators na vitu vingine venye huwa zinafanyika. Hapo nikitoka. Mr. Speaker nataka kuongelea kitu moja ambayo wamesema if Eh, Jubilee government ime deliver ama ija deliver. Mimi naona kwamba Jubilee government ime deliver 2013 to 2017. 2017 after handshake mpaka this 2022 atuone vitu ambazo Jubilee ime deliver. Kwa sababu hata ukiangalia leo jana venye walikuwa wanasoma eh, 2013 2017 ilikuwa 4.5 trillions zenye walikuwa wanatai hii Kenya ukiongeza na 1.8 trillion ambayo kibaki aliaja saa hii wame copy mateni imekuwa nyingi mpaka imekuwa mziko kwa wananchi bwana gofrimbi sasa mr speaker kulingana na delivery venye hii nini imeenda mimi naona wali deliver 2013 2017 mr speaker nimemaliza hivyo Ah nani ataomba? Utaomba? Aja ni. Ah leo hapana. Time imeenda eh? Nani ataomba? Aya omba omba. Kesho kesho please. Kesho. Alo aje tuamini na tuombe. Tuombe tuombe. Uombe baka na hela. Tuamini na tuombe. Baba. Tuombe tuombe. Baba Mungu katika jina la Yesu. Ni jioni iliyo njema mfalme. Tazama tulipo tulipoanza hii meeting asubuhi Mungu umekuwa nazi. Umetutendea mazuri eh Jehovah tumefika tamati tunasema ni asante. Jioni hii kila mmoja ambaye ameasili mahali hapa eh Jehovah ukae na yeye eh, ukamulinde hata ataka boruti nyumbani. Asante Jehovah kwa maana utatimama nazi. Naombea viongozi wetu ukawape neema na hekima kwa kila wanapoongea. Tukue na amani katika nchi yetu ya Kenya na tutasema ni asante. Nisio liomba eh Jehovah utatuombea kama punge. Na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo naomba nikiamini. Amen. Okay madam Koleta. Wow. <laughs> thank you very much uh, Eunice. Thank you Fred Mashiganti. Thank you Mutembei TV. Yes, our viewers, good afternoon, good morning wherever you are. Yesterday I promised you and the queen is here to give the promise out. I told you the Kitengela will not be the same again because we've come here as Optiven. In fact, uh, we are in the real deal. Happy Gardens is the real deal. If you are there and you are just hesitating, you don't know where to invest. The other day I was in Machakos. Nikawaitia vitu safi, mali safi. Leo niko Kitengela, pia nimekuja kuwaletea vitu safi. Eh? The other day I was in uh, Narumoru, our project in Narumoru, Wema Gardens. Nikawaitia vitu safi. Still I'm going there. Next Saturday tunakutana na Rumoru. Why opt even? Just come. Lunch it uh, title did uh, 
legit land by the side hata mkiniangalia niko kwa ground hii ni mawe hii i'm tossing a stone mawe kutoka hapa happy garden just imagine nairobi kitengela kanjiado wesijua the difference zimeshikana tu hivi people are running away from noise town people are running away from pollution people are running away from all sorts of noise and pollution kitengela is the deal happy garden is the deal the title is ready my friends here wamewaambia these are my colleagues na ukituangalia tumevaa t-shirt ya red just the other day mashikad mm. ulipata maua sema ukweli <laughs> Ah sasa kama Optiven tume make it our goal maua ni ploti. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Eunice. Yes. Ulipata maua? Nilishajishikia hapa ploti yangu. Ah good. Ploti As... ni maua. Oh ah, maua ni maua ni ploti. Huko ah. na huko na vile tuko tuko na tisha zingine tunaongea maneno. <laughs> maua ni ploti. In fact this is a, this is a campaign that we inaisha na ve, uh, na this month we were saying that uh, at least when you tunaitishanga gift mimi nikiwa mmoja wao mimi tayari am gift am gifted title deed is in my pocket niliambia wanawake saa nyingine tuachane na maua hadi unasema maua sisi ni peleko vacation itisha kitu ya maana yenye ina grow itisha title deed huyo mjamaa ako na pesa ya kununulia plot and you know what we were, we were talking about you just pay 390 tunakupatia 12000 cashback atuende ukanjibambe na 12000 upeleka mtu wako sasa umnunulie maua ya ukweli but already the title deed iko kwa pocket nani kama optiven nani kama optiven mtembei tv Hakuna. unalipa ploti umepewa ploti umepata title deed na umepewa 12000 uende uka ukanunue ukanunu, sasa the real maua <laughs> so karibuni sana this is a real deal I'm on the ground as i promised you mimi nitakuwa naenda kwa ground. Mimi sitauzia kitu wa muoni. Leo nimekuja on the all the way from Nairobi. 10 minutes drive from Kitengela to this place. 1.5 km from Nam, off Namanga Road at KAG. Kambala University is here. Why Happy Gardens? Mashule. Kitengela International um, uh, Kitengela International School is just on the other side. Uh, Niawa award winning project by the name Victory Gardens. Ukienda hapo Victory Gardens my friend. I think utaomba nyumba ya mtu ukae ndani. Auta imagine uko kitengela. Maji iko, solar street lights, stima iko kwa yani and that place is a replica of this place. So why, what are you waiting? Just right interested. Unis give us your number again. Upatie diaspora, upatie locals. At least wasikie they should book something from Happy Gardens. Okay. But to my diaspora clients our diaspora clients i'm reachable on plus 254 721 910 603